Hey kid, what's wrong? What seems to be the problem? Well, my mom bought me all these Genesis games, but I don't even have a Genesis, and even if I did, I only have an HD TV. You need to try the Mega Retron HD. The Mega Retron HD by Hyperkin? This looks awesome! I gotta give this thing a try! <laughs> Castlevania! Better get the controller! HD comes with HD radical graphics, an aspect ratio switch, a premium controller, an NTSC PAL switch, and perfect pin technology. The Mega Retron HD. Buy one today or be a loser. Looks like I won't be needing this anymore. Mega Retron. The Mega Retron HD. Finally, I have this thing and I have been playing with it. I have been enjoying it and I will tell you guys why I think right off the bat, why I think it is so worth it for a gamer like me. Let's check it out. If you don't know what the Mega Retron HD is, well, it says right here on the back of the box. It is a premium retro gaming console for the Genesis slash Mega Drive. This is exciting for me because I'm looking forward to picking up some Mega Drive games. I picked up a few back in the day, but I ended up selling them because, well, I didn't have a Mega Drive to play them on. So with this, it's easy. Let me tell you guys a couple of the tiny little specs that are already laid out for you, again, right on the back of the box. This Mega Retron HD outputs 720p HD audio and video audio. There is also an aspect ratio switch right on the back of the console itself, 16.9 or 4.3. Again, a really big thing for me, a NTSC slash PAL switch, and that is located right on the bottom of the console. And lastly, Hyperkin's perfect pin technology. I was about to go on and start telling you guys about this, but then as I was reading more on the back of the box, it says the 90s are back with the Hyperkin Mega Retron HD. The 90s? I love the 90s. This shirt's tighter than I expected. I am not the biggest fan of unboxing videos. I don't have the patience, so I will show you guys what's inside the box quickly besides the actual console. First, we have the instruction manual. Uh, yeah, I should probably actually read an instruction manual. Also, you got the power supply right here, ready to go and charge you up. Next, the AV cables, which are still in the plastic because I have not used them in this form. I am using the HDMI cable. Yes, it is a short HDMI cable, but for someone like me, I have the console hooked up right next to the TV, so it doesn't matter for me. And in any case, I have a whole bunch of HDMI cables, but some people do really want these included. So take a note, it's a short one, but it's in there. And lastly, before the console itself, the lovely, the wonderful six button controller with also a mode button on the top right here. But I have to say, as far as the controller goes, I think it works really well. I am loving the way it feels with the video games I play. Then again, let me make this very clear. I was never the biggest Genesis guy. I love the Genesis, but I'm not like a tried and true Genesis guy. I'm a tried and true Super Nintendo, Nintendo person. But this is great. To me, it feels just as good as what I've been playing lately on any other Genesis games. No, I don't play games full run-throughs or no death runs or speed runs. I play the Genesis quite often and this feels just as good and I almost hate saying this sometimes, but it kind of feels a little better than I no, my Genesis controllers are working, my actual Genesis controllers. So I gotta say, as far as this goes, I'm loving it. I feel like there's a good amount of click. I feel like there's a good amount of pop on this D-pad here. Everything works as sensitive as I would like when I'm playing it. So this, I'm saying it's a really good controller. I legitimately love the way it feels, holy cow. The final thing is the actual console itself, the Mega Retron HD, and I gotta say, I love the way this thing looks. It reminds me a little bit of a Dreamcast, and like we said, there is a micro port on the back to charge up and power on the system. There is an HDMI output, you have your video and audio, red, white, and yellow right here. You also have your 16 by nine or four by three on the back to switch between both of those. And 
underneath, which is one of the biggest selling points for me, is the NTSC J, NTSC U, and your PAL versions. And on the front of the console, you have your ports, obviously, for your controllers, player one, player two. There is a reset button, and on top, you have your on and off switch. Like I said, kind of reminds me of a Dreamcast, but obviously, with the look and aesthetic of a actual Genesis console and Hyperkin. Love the little knob they always have going down in the front of their products. They even do it on their boxes. It's so shiny. And just so you're all aware, from here on out in the rest of the video, I will be playing these cartridges right here. So any gameplay you see is footage that I captured playing these three games. Well, in case you couldn't see, it was Castlevania Bloodlines, Midnight Resistance, and Alter Beast. So it's time to power up. So my favorite thing about this is that the audio is fantastic and it comes out in stereo. For someone like me, I need my stereo sound. I am a music head. I played in bands my whole life. Sound matters to me. So the audio coming out in stereo, yes. And the next thing is the video. Obviously, what does it look like? What are we seeing on screen? Are you gonna enjoy what your eyes are seeing? And I have to say, absolutely. I'm very impressed with this, more than I thought I would be. And one of the biggest reasons for that is this is extremely affordable. Yes, you can put your money somewhere else if you want and pay a lot more money, but I have to say, I was saying earlier, this is a good console for me. I feel like this works perfectly for a gamer like me. And I say that because I have never been one of those people that are willing to spend hundreds of dollars on different ways to play some of my old consoles that'll cost me $200 to get certain mods done or even other consoles that are $100 plus. No, that's never been for me. I like to have a lot of different things and be able to play my games and enjoy what I see. And this does it for me because it's for 45 bucks and what I'm seeing for 45 bucks is really darn fantastic This is for somebody who wants to be able to play their old Genesis games on their HD TVs And that's exactly what I need. That's exactly what I want So right now as of now and I have about three other consoles that can play Genesis games as well Some of them were given to me some of them I bought myself But this is probably my favorite one right now and the one I would recommend the most and that's because the price 45 bucks, I mean, 45 bucks, that's a good deal. I don't know, I, I, I'm super hyped on the way it looks and feels right now. The more I play it, the more I'm just like, wow, I'm really comfortable in this controller. I love the way it looks and the sound with the stereo. Let's go! We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. I love you. Now, back to our show. Something my buddy pointed out over at Mad Little Pixel is that you can also play the Mega EverDrive cartridge as well. So if you have one of those, I just wanted to point it out that you can play those as well. So before I go, two little things that I wanted to point out. One, I'm not getting paid to do this. This is not a paid promotion in any way. Be cool if it was, but it's not. So take that however you wanna take it. And the second thing is whenever I look at a product or wanna kind of review something, I like to say at least one area that I think that can be improved a little bit or can be done a little bit better. And if I had to pick something for this, Truthfully, there's not that much because at the price range that it is, it does exactly what I was expecting it to do. But I guess if I had to pick one thing, maybe the brightness was a little bit darker than I was expecting when I first turned on the console. But with that said, I also have brightness settings and color settings that I fix that with within a few seconds. But I'm just pointing that out. If I had to pick one thing, I'd say the brightness, maybe up it just a little bit. My question is, will you be picking one of these up? Or what else do you own? What are some other fun options that you use? What are other ways that you play your Genesis? Or are you tried and true, you will only play on the Sega Genesis itself or the Mega Drive itself? And hey, if that's, if that's your way, more power to you. More retro is all good with me, but let me know what you guys are doing down in the comments below. Myself, very happy with this. Overall, 45 bucks. There wasn't really any going wrong. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Have a good one. See you next time. Make sure and subscribe because that's what people say on YouTube. And smash, don't, if you're going to hit the notification bell, don't, 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 don't smash it. That's, just people just say that. It's like sound cool. Oh, got something in my eye. <laughs> I got something in my eye. Look at this console. Isn't it neat? I peed in my bed, now I change my sheets. It's so light too, I, I love it. It's like I can actually weight lift with it because I'm a wimp. Oh, Matt Little Pixel said it's like a, just over a pound.
is so pretty. The Mega Retro HD. Look at this shirt. Look at this shirt. Look at, look at, look at this shirt. That's so shiny. The shine. Trigger Genesis fans. 